Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Knights Templar back here. Uh, welcome to another 85 uh, YouTube War. This is uh, Scenario 2. Um, as you guys uh, remember, uh, we I was in uh, Operation First Blood. We did a Scenario 1 um, YouTube War with Flak88 and Captain G. Um, I, I didn't play Drago, uh, but excited to play this one. This is called Operation Patriot Games. And uh, excited to get this one kicked off, which is actually going to be starting tomorrow. And uh, and before I get into who is playing, which the other guys have already mentioned who's playing, and you probably know who's already part of the uh, who are the players that are playing this game. <laughs> so I, I will mention them because I feel like it's my duty to recognize the three really great guys that that have contributed to. Um, the 85 team. So, um, from where we, uh, from where I began, uh, which was January of 2022, uh, when I did my first play test, definitely fell in love with the game. I'm excited for, you know, this game to, this is actually my two year anniversary with, with, uh, with being a part of global war 85 team. And, uh, <clears throat> couldn't be more proud of what our team has accomplished and uh, we're excited for this game to get out. Don't know when it's going to come out, but uh, we're at the finish line. Um, I will say that it's I, I want to. It's going to be fun seeing other people play this game and come up with strategies. And you know they they're having fun with the game, and they're like the they're like the combat and the expansions, and um, the random events, and you know just the units overall. I'm excited to see somebody else. Um, play this game and just for them to to get a feel of what it's like um but uh, yeah could be more excited but anyway let's uh, uh who's kicking off sauce tomorrow is uh, captain g uh he has he was my partner at uh, twisted lords con in uh, july of 2023 so um good luck to you my friend i uh, hope you do very well with warsaw pact <clears throat> and um I, that was the first time I've met uh, Captain G was at Twisted Lords Con, so and then I played with him in First Blood. So this is the only second YouTube war that I've ever played uh, with Captain G. So really great guy, uh, very good friend. And then uh, Ozark Outpost, another really good friend of mine. Um, I'm sure you guys remember us playing a 36, a couple of 36 YouTube wars and a 1914. And uh, now 85, and he's my partner. So uh, excited to see what uh, Ozark Outpost and I can come up with uh, strategic-wise. And um, he, too, joined uh, the 85 group back in July of 2023 at Twisted Lords Con. And he played NATO as well. So um, definitely definitely excited to see what uh, Ozark's going to come up with here. So, uh, And then uh, Flak88... Good dude all around, wonderful guy. Known him since September of 2022 uh, when we had a Scenario 3 playtest in Indiana. Um, and f from then on, he uh, joined the group, the 85 to playtest team, and um, he's been a very good asset. And uh, he's uh, couldn't have asked anybody of anybody else, honestly. Really good guy all around. Um, but uh, he's playing Soviet Globe Command, so he's my enemy this game. I'm just joking, man. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I hope you do very well, my friend. Um, uh, the scary big red machine hopefully uh, doesn't take too much of, of the world. So uh, anyway, and then I'm playing the uh, U.S. Global Command. Uh, I played them a few times. So I really like them a lot. Uh, if you can utilize their full potential, they're powerful. So... Uh, definitely uh, can be very scary to <laughs> to go against uh, if you're um, if you're the red team, you know, and they're they're doing well and kicking ass. So um, uh, same with NATO as well. But uh, but yeah, so we have a couple um, couple expansions, a uh, couple random events, and then uh, an optional unit. So I'll just go into the optional unit. So what we're playing with is the and Ozark Outpost and Flak 88 already mentioned this, but I feel like I, I should too. Uh, we're playing with the SPAG uh, optional unit. Uh, very good unit in my opinion. Uh, very, very popular Twisted Lords Con that I did notice. 
people bought these a lot, a lot. So um, was uh, excited to see that a lot of people did buy this unit and that, you know, we kept it in the game and, you know, that it's it's very effective. It really is. And, you know, ultimately when people are buying units, it sticks. So um, could be more happy to, to play that with that again. Um, one of the expansions, the Battleship and Battle Cruisers. Um, as you can see here, the uh, the Iowa class, and then over here, uh, that big ship at there at the end there with the ASW helicopter, the Kirov, uh, scary unit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, uh, had a lot of fun with that in the September uh, 2022 playtest when we first uh, introduced um, uh, that expansion, and then the one that I've not played is the um, Naval Aviation. I've not played this one. Now, I'm probably going to get uh, in trouble for this, but uh, I don't have the correct sculpts on the uh, supercarrier here. But don't worry. I have an order. It's going to be here Tuesday. <laughs> so the proper um, naval, uh, air sculpts will be swapped out and just waiting on the attack bomber um, naval marker there as well. So, yep, just waiting on those and then get those painted and get those swapped to, to make sure they, they look the part. And... Um, and yeah, um, and then that's it for the expansions in the optional unit. Uh, we are playing an expansion, uh, not expansion, the random event called The Troubles. Ireland is trying to stir shit up here uh, in the British Isles, so <clears throat> we'll see if Ozark Outpost and I can stop that. But uh, excited to see what uh, how this random event plays out. Um, and then down here is the ANC. This is going to be my baby down here, uh, along with Flak 88, so... Him and I are going to be going back and forth with each other down here. Um, definitely, definitely excited to play this random event. The Soviet fleet moves here originally from the base game from M11 to I5. There is a destroyer in the setup here as well that also moves with this fleet here. So I've got it on the, the marker card. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, Flak 88 does with, uh, does with that fleet there. Got a few tricks up my sleeve, but we'll see. Um, uh, otherwise, yeah, uh, couldn't be more excited to get this game going. Um, had to do a lot of painting today, <laughs> so uh, I haven't been feeling well. Um, but uh, got a new look for uh, Israel and Egypt, more of a desert-looking feel. Uh, it's a U.S. They're U.S. miners, and then this is the color I use for these U.S. miners here. Uh, but uh, just wanted to. Um, you know, do a little flavor up there. Um, and then these are the Soviet miners here, the lighter chestnut brown that I have. So, and then this is uh, your neutral, the white units that I always use for, got Austria, Switzerland. And I think that's, I think that's it for, for that. So, um, other than that, yeah, uh, I don't think there's really much else that, I could say, except we are starting tomorrow, so I'll probably get my turn done Tuesday, since it'll be worse all packed in NATO tomorrow, um, and then um, Flak eighty eight and I, then Flak eighty eight goes and I go. So, but uh, but yeah. Otherwise, uh, you guys take care, and uh, we'll see you for turn one for U.S. Global Command. Uh, um, got my dashboard right here, ready to go, and uh, yeah, you guys take care. Have a great night.